And good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Koontz. We are following developments out of the state capitol this day, where we are expecting more details on layoffs affecting state workers. Our chief capitol correspondent, Mark Davis, standing by live with the very latest this noon. Mark. Good afternoon, Keith. Good afternoon, everyone from the state capitol. We're standing by here because two of the governor's top aides, Roy Ocho Grosso and his budget director, Ben Barnes, are about to brief us on the latest plan from the governor to save that $700 million in this current budget year. But we just received the list of the total layoffs for the state just moments ago, and it looks like the total number of state employee layoffs will now be 6,000. 560, 6,560, and it appears that the uh, largest hit is going to be in the Transportation Department, Department of Transportation, a little over 1,000 layoffs at DOT. In the Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection, that of course is the state police and other related uh, agencies, 300. We already reported to you yesterday at 5 o'clock about the 57 troopers. We'll have more to say about that in just a moment. The Department of Energy and Environmental Protection, 162. Department of Developmental Services, 500. Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services, about 500. And we've been told that some uh, uh, DSS, uh, Department of Social Service Welfare Offices, are being closed as we speak. University of Connecticut total 345, University of Connecticut Health Center total 165, Department of Correction new total today is 863, and the Department of Children and Families total 362. Those are some of the large hits on the layoffs, and uh, details on all of this will be coming forthcoming, we're told, in about 10 or 15 minutes from uh, the governor's two top aides, and we'll be bringing that to you live. But right now, the president of the state police union is joining us. Uh, uh, Andy Matthews is here because he wants to dispute statements by the governor's office that the public safety uh, of uh, the public safety's public safety will not be threatened uh, by these layoffs of these 57 new state troopers. Uh, why do you contest that, Andy? Uh, with all due respect to the governor's office, um, we believe that we have a statutory mandate under Connecticut General Statute 29-4 of 1,248 troopers. In February of 2009, we had 1,283 troopers. We're currently at 1,127. If we lose this class of 57 troopers uh, in, on August 24th, we'll be at 1,000 70 troopers, well below the statutory mandate. Right. Um, and, and as you explained to us earlier, not all of those troopers are on the road. There's a lot of them that are off the road, and they'll have to come out of those uh, other uh, office jobs, which are vitally important. Right. The, the most recent class, obviously, is performing a vital patrol function, right. but what will happen is they'll strip the specialized units, which leaves us to believe that those specialized units who also provide a vital public service and public protection um, will be sacrificed to, to some degree. Just name, what are those services? Uh, sex Offenders Unit, our elite major crime squad. Right. Um, you know, it, it's not about balancing a budget to the Connecticut State Police Union. It's about protection of life and property. And the governor promised your union during the campaign and promised publicly not to, not to do this. Yeah, well, in, in uh, September of uh, 2010, after the Connecticut State Police Union endorsed Mr. Malloy for governor, um, he stated in part in a New, New Haven Register article that while he promised to add 55 troopers to bring us up to our statutory mandate of 1248, and he stated in part while adding the uh, cost to the budget is difficult, I refuse to place a dollar value on the safety and well-being of Connecticut residents. All so, right, Andy, thanks very much for joining us. Andy Matthews of the State Police Union. And let me explain uh, that we had some confusion, you may recall, at 5 o'clock yesterday about whether 58 or 57 new state troopers were being laid off. Well, the number originally was 58, but it's brought, and brought down to 57 because one of those state troopers is currently on active duty in Afghanistan. Uh, we'll come back here live uh, as soon as the briefing from the governor's two top aides on this latest list of layoffs starts. We expect that sometime during this half hour. Live at the state capitol, Mark Davis, News 8.